I've heard it said, as most of us have, that there ain't no rest for the wicked, which is probably why my mind keeps me awake at night, thinking, worrying of things that would claim such as ridiculous, stupid, foolish, and a waste of time that I've done or am doing, some of which I would agree on myself. But these wonders are what make me sure of plans of things that need to accomplish. Night is when I can think the clearest, spending half the time wondering why these facts and ponders don't process the same during the day at the times in which I would usually probably make the mistake anyway. There ain't no rest for the wicked, so I guess I'm still somewhat the same. Seeing pictures of graves hundreds of years old, trash just having been chucked where someone once had lay, someone important, maybe not to you, maybe not to history, but to someone, whether a child or a lover who died of a sickness. No respect is shown for those who finally have the chance to rest. Maybe they cleaned chimneys. Maybe they were a father, a mother, or a prisoner of war. Maybe they had to fight their whole life for an idea they could never achieve just so their children would be closer to an easier life. Their body no longer there, now part of the earth. No respect for their grave except in the heart of a few who know the truth. As the crickets call out his name with a chirp, chirp, chirp. He feels lonely, a failed chance at a good life, an American life. He has to start anew in ways he never expected to give himself a chance again. Love it or leave it. Love me or leave me. Love you or leave and think of you. Nothing has ever failed to bring its head around the door and say, Hello there, I'm here. So light the candles for everything to fail and fall in tonight because that's what you expect. But positive change is made. And the sun arose and said, hello, I'm here. I see women get mad because men objectify. But the reason that is true began with a lie. Seeing 15-year-old girls in tube tops at Ichthus Fest, it makes me want to cry. It supposedly started with women's rights, summers of love, burning bras, breaking laws, breaking the mold, or so I'm told. Saying women have the right to be bold, but it's making it easier for them to be bought or sold to any lonely, afflicted, rich, sad swine of a man. Little sisters, I hope you can understand when I say modesty is far more valuable. You may have less romantic opportunities, but the fruit you used to see is rotten. What shines on the outside you'll find within is rotten, devoured by worms. The tower that is your beauty will be burned to the ground. And as that child crowns out of season, you will call a reason to be joyful a curse. Your party life is now in a hearse. And the worst part of all is those nights spent sleepless, Drinking and thinking about how, who, why, and where, as you exchanged glances and stares have been replaced with tiny fingers and screams. And now all night parties are dreams that you don't have because all you hear is crying. Hang up that party life and those bad ideas because all it really is is nightmares. I've read words on a page hundreds of times repetitiously and I've listened to men and women speak and shout till their lungs give out and their voice begins to crackle and fade till it's a rusty, gritty hum. No matter how I try to soak this in, they're the only way it sticks. It's as if my brain was made to process lights, colors, and sounds arrayed with symmetry and melody. Well, maybe not always symmetry, but it helps. But still, the art I feel sticks to me. It's as if it's the language of the spirit. It's the closest thing we get to the limit we face as human beings like we were born to hear the beat and made for the song the angels sing. Maybe I'm alone. Maybe not every human processes feelings like this. Maybe these words are hit or miss, and it depends on what you want to hear or see or feel. But to me, rhythm is a gift. Tone is a miracle, and color is a grand expression of God's vast character. There is a difference between art and skill. 
Good art is not made, it's expressed. Art isn't fashioned, it's undressed. It's naked and shameless before God, the way we were made. And we've been hiding the way we feel from each other and God since we ate that fruit. And God has been tearing that away through pulling out bad trees by the root and casting them into the fire. He has been pruning me with the songs I hear. His words pouring out over the sounds of our hearts. He's been keeping me growing for a long time. He's been keeping me going with a tune and a rhyme. He's been giving, opening the ears to the deaf and the eyes of the blind. I've been reacting with the dance of a fool or a warrior or a child or a lover. He's been setting me free with this liberation anthem that moment I first heard, I first saw, I first felt. I hope you feel it too.